Hey guys, Mark here. I hope you are well. Today we're going to take a look at another paracord bracelet design. This time the fishtail centric weave. Here I have an example of a bracelet done using the fishtail eccentric weave. It has a nice pattern to it and it is easy to tie. Let's take a look at the supplies, then make one. For the supplies, the first thing that you're going to need is a single piece of paracord. This piece should be 10 feet long for a 6 inch weave or 12 feet long for an 8 inch weave. Next, you're going to need a 5 8 inch bracelet buckle. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using a bracelet jig. It is completely optional, I'm mostly using it to hold my bracelet in place. And the final two supplies are scissors and a lighter to cut and melt your cords. Let's begin tying. To start my bracelet, I'm going to set up a double cord. First, I'm going to clip in my buckle into the jig. Then, I'm going to pick up my cord and fold it in half. I'm going to place the middle point so the bight into the top part of the buckle. Just to hold it in place. I'm then going to move to the other side, so to the other part of the buckle, and I'm going to attach my two ends onto it, using the cow hitch. So first, the right end, Like this. So this is a cow hitch. Do the same thing with the left end. So, we have now taken care of the bottom part of the buckle, so one side. Next, we're going to adjust the size of our bait. We want it to barely reach the top part of the buckle. So to do this, we're going to work some slack out of the bait through our two cow hitches and into the ends.
So let's say something like this. The bite barely reaches the buckle. We are now going to move from the bottom to the top and again attach the two ends. So first the right end like this creating a double cord. Pass under and through your bite like this and finish up your cow hedge. So something like this, and the other end as well. Like this, again passing under and through the bite creating a double cord. Finish up the cow hatch. So this is our double core setup. So we have four core strands and two working ends. The weaving process is very simple. We are going to alternate between the left end and the right end. We take the left end over three in between the third and fourth cord and back to the left side, like this. Take the right end and do the same. So over three, in between the third and fourth chord, and back to the right side. Then simply repeat, left end over three, and back to the left. Right end over three and back to the right. And left end over three and back to the left. Right end over three and back to the right. Keep doing this until you reach the other buckle end. After reaching the other buckle end, all I'm going to do is trim the ends and melt them. So we do this on the bottom side.
like this. That's all there is to our bracelet. Super simple and it looks great. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. See you next time.